How are we doing? This is a video of the uh, 19, actually the 2001 Suzuki Intruder with a uh, custom sidecar frame. We have the body inside, but I want to do a quick video to show how the construction went. There's actually three, three separate pieces here. There's one across the bottom here, which is a frame which ties uh, two points in the front and a couple of points on the back here, and then a brace that goes up to the side, that's that silver thing. Okay, that silver bracket, there's three points on that. Okay, and that's the motorcycle attachment. Here's the frame. This was uh, originally uh, an Ender sidecar made in India. Uh, the frame is very, was a very light duty, uh, suitable for like a 250 to 500 cc bike, uh, very small diameter tubing. Uh, this is ancient three-quarter. Okay. The uh, J bracket, I guess it's called. I did uh, salvage from the uh, uh, the other frame because it, it seemed to be substantial enough and it welded on okay. So uh, we use uh, we did we use that. The um, the stanchions here, the stands uh, were also reused. They seem to be substantial too. So that wasn't a problem. Okay. We got two separate wiring harnesses here. There's one down on the bottom, one here, and then there's one over here for a quick detach. They came from uh, Florida Sidecar Products, good friend up there, uh, Mark, uh, very helpful, good recommendations. He has uh, construction manuals. Uh, this came, this uh, frame came from a, a construction manual that I got from him a while ago, so it was very helpful. And he's, Full of uh, full of advice and help. Here's a quick look here in case you want to give him a try. He's got a website, FloridaSidecarParts.com. Okay. The suspension I came up with is a leading link type. We have two heim fittings, heim joints back here. They're three quarter inch, very strong. It's mounted to this plate. Okay, has a stand for the the uh, rear shock. The sh rear shock is actually a lowered shock for the 1400, but it seemed to uh, seem to work out just right for the length and the uh, compliance. Um, this is a, a trailer stub axle from a previous project, and we made up this uh, swing arm. But uh, works very smooth. Uh, there's no slop in it. I would have rather used a uh, trailing link that way. Uh, it's like a shopping cart and always wants to go straight, but uh, all this uh, would have been in the way of the sidecar. Uh, that we're getting in and out of the sidecar, so mounted it back here. Okay, this is uh, the fender mount, and this will be an armrest for the uh, passenger. Okay, moving over here. This is a 195 50 15 tire mounted on, uh, this is actually a trailer wheel. But it looks uh, as nice as uh, any passenger car wheel around. Really nice. So uh, it's big and wide, and the only reason for it is looks. It doesn't have to be this big, but I wanted to have a nice fat tire over here. Okay. The rest of the bike, these are Harley uh, directional lights. They have a nice uh, uh, look to them. It's an older style, but they're very bright and does match the chrome of the rest of the bike. Stock exhaust. Got the uh, genuine intruder rises for a flat bar. Found those on uh, eBay. We've got a regular flat bar here. I might widen it just a bit, an inch on each side, by adding to the flat bar just a little bit more leverage. Uh, I'll know better once I get some more miles on this. Okay, we got a uh, Volkswagen size tire here, 165, 80. 15, it's got a flat tread. You don't need a curved tread because the bike <laughs> never leans anymore. So it just acts as a as a tug for the sidecar. Okay. Well thank you for watching.